thank you party brigade uh, cardiac society of uh, india uh, as uh, he could not attend this wonderful meeting due to his administrative emergency i had to present on his behalf uh, so we'll we're going the glimpse from the himalayas um, so as we see the nepal is a very small country sandwiched between china and india uh, but though it's small it is it it, it counts 75% of this land is accounted by mountains and rock hills and uh, as we see the last slide there was a population of 140 million or we have population of just 30 million and we are almost 22 times smaller than india uh, the major cardiac problems is obviously the rheumatic and congenital uh, as usual uh, as similar to india and uh, this was some of the um, uh, slides he showed uh like uh, many studies has been done regarding the prevalence of uh, rheumatic heart disease and congenital heart disease and uh, this shows almost uh, same as uh, here and, um, and this is quite interesting epidemiology of rheumatic heart disease just presented uh, in 3rd of november um in the uh, national conference uh, so this was a cross sectional design and uh, uh, it was done all over the seven provinces a uh, three ecological zones ecological zones here means the himal tarai and pahar there's a plain hills and mountains and along 25 districts and 236 schools uh, and all the school going children from 5 to 16 years were included it was a clinical survey and auscultation which was followed by echocardiography with murmur of grade 2 or more sample size was uh, 1,7340 duration of 5 years from may 2015 to march 2020 so from mountain districts there is 24% from hilly 55% and from plain there was 20% of the schools and total number of screen children were 10% from um mountain areas 57% from hilly and 31% from plain and uh, total number of echocardiography was done was 10000 uh, among 1 lakh and it was 14% from mountain and 54% from hilly and 31% from plain and 5 to 10 years of uh, children were 10% in mountain 59% were hilly and 29% in plain and um there was more in from 11 to 16 years as usually seen and uh, there was similar number of um uh, population uh, if we compare boys and girls so um in this slide you can see that uh, total of Mm, uh, among the, uh, one lakh, there was number of two hundred thirty-nine, and that was two point two per thousand. And uh, in the age group, it was uh, significantly seen that it was more common in eleven to sixteen years, and in gender there was no discrepancy, and in socio-economic group that was more in underprivileged group. So in province-wise distribution, we see that these three and four you, you may not know the gen. Three and four is quite. Uh, it's like in in Kathmandu and Pokhara, so it's quite less. And in uh, remote areas, uh, there was more in province number six and province number two. In ecological distribution, we can see that rheumatic was less uh, as compared to congenital in uh, mountainous regions. Why? Because it's just opposite to plain areas, which where RSD was more. so similar to this there was ongoing school project going on in our own center is a national cardiac center and total number of 12000 uh, school going children were planned to screen and so far 10000 has been screened uh, and um, so the study is going on and government initiatives like it's a free penicillin distribution to all the rheumatic heart disease and um uh, the free valve valve surgery of rsd now going to the congenital and structural heart intervention so this is the glimpse of uh, pediatric this is only the the slide showing the pediatric population not the adult one what are the intervention being done from 2009 to 2021 in the center so i i would say that from 2016 uh, our interventional has been uh, uh, accelerated before that it was a few uh, uh, cases have was done like a uh, few cases of asd device closure balloon dilatation and ptmc and uh, this was the uh, so study of um, uh, ms uh, ptmc has been done in our center and total 2000 6000 was done till 
2016 and now it's almost 10,000. And uh, similarly, the, it was also done in rheumatic uh, juvenile uh, MS in the pediatric population with a good result. And regarding BBB BAV, uh, it has been being done and the, the picture, the slide we are showing uh, is, is the pulmonary valve perforation in the newborn. So, and uh, this is the uh, uh, data from 2007 to 2022 regarding AST, VST, and PDA. And uh, from, as I mentioned, from 2016, our um, device closure has increased and uh, it is like um, almost 1,500 AST has been done till now and uh, almost more than 200 in a year and more than 100, more than 100 PDA in a year. VST is a little bit lesser. So, uh, from 2016 to 2022, 1300 cases has been done and it, it was mostly under local anesthesia and TTE guided. So this is the um, study of uh, efficacy and uh, they ha it has shown that uh, ASD is quite safe and effective and this is the study of 566 cases. And regarding complication, uh, they showed that some transient ST, transient ST elevation and pericardial tamponade and cardiac arrhythmia were seen in few cases. And this is quite interesting study, which was done in the in our center in the adult patient more than 18 years, and uh, uh, this did the study uh, between ASA only and aspirin and clobeckel dual. Whether it was a debate in the last presentation also that well, there is no strict um, criteria to give dual antiplatelets or not. So they did the similar study, and uh, they showed that there is uh, the dual antiplatelet is no superior to aspirin alone, but they still mentioned that larger scale multicenter trial has to be done to make clear re clear recommendation so this was quite interesting slide like uh, of, uh, uh, he presented in the uh, csi frankfurt um, it was uh, like uh, he did the ast closure in 57 years old male uh, with the serpa who has climbed 17 times mount everest and this is the um, dextrocardia with situs rotatis inversus and uh, ASD and PT, um, uh, BBB in the same patient with using Inoe balloon, PTMC balloon, and, and this is the case with uh, uh, PT, uh, PCI and the device closure was done in the same setting. So moving to the PDA, uh, PDA as I mentioned, PDA was usually is usually done in pediatric population and some uh, adult population. So. Uh, we usually do PDA with um, penis only approach as we have a very large volume. And so mostly we avoid arterial puncture. Then we actually went, uh, we have done till now 100 cases with good result. And this is the slide of uh, uh, doc, um, Dr. Stenting. So far 30 cases has been done with good results and many patients have been sent to surgery for um, uh, total repair. Then last, this is the last slide. Uh, we just started coarctation stenting in our center, and uh, with this, I would like to finish my presentation. The is presentation. So, in conclusion, rheumatic and congenital heart disease are major issues in our country. The government of Nepal provides support to our patients. Thank you.